Hey, welcome guys. My name is Innocenzo LaRocca. I'm a New York real estate agent. I'm here to school you on the game just a little bit. Um, I have my license in New York. I just filed for Jersey and Florida will follow. Why? Because these are my favorite states. I like hopping around to different states. I love traveling a lot. And I find that most people are moving back and forth in transit. So if I can be advantageous to them with my services, it works better for both of us. Um, real estate, a couple things to know. Don't be that agent. Don't be the agent that does not know anything about the market, does not know anything about the developments coming up. You need to be savvy on what's going on because you're taking people's time. You see people walking around with a cell phone all the time. It means that they're busy. Family, friends, businesses, obligations are on here. They don't have a lot of time to be wasting with an agent that doesn't know anything. So make sure you know what's going on in the market. Make sure that your ads are real. Don't bait and switch. Don't put fake numbers on there to drag people in. It, it's, it's very, uh, it's very uh, disgusting and it's frustrating for a person when they get there and the listing does not exist. Don't bait and switch. Know your stuff or don't have it and be upfront on the phone. Um, don't be the agent that does not know how to use social media. Social media is the easiest way to connect. Utilize social media. Research it. Research your clients. Get to know who they are. Put your lifestyle on there. Let people get to know who you are. You know, if you're building a personal relationship, relationships go farther. I mean, just the same that people have an accountant for the money, a doctor for the health, they have a real estate agent for their financial investments. You are a friend, you are a therapist before you are even a salesman. Remember that, guys. To be a top agent, I think you need to break the old model of the real estate brokerages. The old models were we go out there, we wait for a call to come in on the MLS, we wait for someone to to, to ping us that they need something and then we go around and we try to find inventory that we don't even know we haven't even done a walkthrough and we pray to God that when we connect our client with that property that there's nothing going on in that house and that it's a smooth sale and it's such a rush job and it feels rushed and people these days are more well informed things are more transparent the internet has put the glass in the real estate world and what I mean by that is in the real estate world people regular everyday clients who don't have a lot of time because they're on their phones doing other things, but they can do quick calls, they can do quick searches, and they can find out what something costs, what has been done to the place. They can do quick virtual walkthroughs. They can find out what they need to qualify. They can actually omit the real estate agent and go strictly to the property owner. That's simple. But a lot of times they're not gonna do that because they're so busy. They, they can't be boggled, especially you know trying to find different properties in different boroughs. So that's where you have the advantageous part for them. My suggestion to you is build a strong social media presence. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, podcast, get out there uh, and utilize it to your advantage. Play the right, clever information on these platforms. You know, talk about real estate, interview people with real estate, promote your ads, use the free templates online to make free ads, Instagram stories. Become a more prominent figure, a more visual figure, a more sounding figure in people's heads so they know that you are the person to go to. So build your social media profile. Also use social media to research some of your clients, some of your potential clients you wanna to talk to. It's always good to know who you're talking to because if you understand, you can empathize. If you can empathize, you can build trust. And if you can build trust, you may build a friendship and a friendship may turn into a deal. It's that simple. The other thing is study these emerging technologies because they're not going anywhere. People doubted social media and now it is the biggest trendsetter, the biggest platform of building business. No artificial intelligence, no virtual reality. Know the beacon technology, at least ping things that people place in buildings and they zap people's phones and they go, Oop, notification, oh, there's a listing here, really? Like know how to get ahead of the curve because you need to cut out the competition. Also, study. Study people. Try to understand the different emotions and temperaments of people. People have different things going on in the day, different things going on in their business. There's different climates of the business. Things change in their life. So understand how to adapt to people like a chameleon because you need to be what they need when they need you, if that makes sense, okay? Um, above all, have fun. Have fun. Stay busy. Go to networking events. You don't have a deal? Vlog. Do topics of the day. Tell people what's going on. You're still alive. You're still breathing. You're still moving. You may attract the business to someone else. Don't just sit there. Hype. Ignore the hype. Don't believe the hype. What you see on Million Dollar Listing and on TV glamorizes real estate to the utmost potential. But these people right now are getting bigger clients because of the exposure that national television has gotten them. They worked hard to get there. And now that they're in that field, they are in line with the right people, the right attorneys, the, the right clientele. They can make things happen more than ever. 
So you can't pretend to be that way. You're not there. You start at the bottom. What you learn in college and in university, the real estate school, is just the lyric of the law. It doesn't teach you nothing about the street. Nobody shows you anything in real estate at all. When you get on the streets, you're on your own. Why? Because why would anybody teach you how to make money when you could become a competitor to their commission? Nobody wants that, guys. So you're going to have to go out there. What do I say? Work for free. Shadow brokers. Interview brokers. Ask them how they do certain things in exchange for information. 